if you can see that. Right, should be along here somewhere. Um, I should be able to see some trampled grass as well. Where I've been through, this is it, I think. Out, stepped in the thistle. That's always good. Alright, we'll try and go through here. Ow. This is it. Doesn't look like much now. This is where I had my first drinking session ever. In fact, yeah, I mean, this used to be clear, but they, they chopped this like last night. They came down with this special train with like a chain flail on it. Um, a bit like a mine sweeping tank, basically, that chops all the vegetation down and stuff. So I filmed down here. This is where, I don't know if I've told you about them railway sleepers before. We used to have a lot of railway sleepers on the embankment. We used to just burn them and build stuff out of them and things. Um, and there's one of our old dens that we've rubber made down here. <coughs> okay. Let's have a look. It's bound to still be here because it's got a uh, battery chicken farm. <laughs> cage floors on it but it did have when it was here um, from this old place we used to work an old boy called Mr Noble here he is I can see it no way see I haven't been here for years either long time right this is it there you go let me see where we are let's poke the camera through here you can see that we're in the fields yeah Okay, right, sweep back round. Up there's the railway line, just up there. And this is the chilling spot. And, well, chilling spot number two, so I say. This is Joe's old den, still here. You know, there's an old buried cage floor, look. This is some old piping, presumably Victorian. I think the line was built in about 1850. Uh, and this is one of our old dens. It used to be fully roofed and stuff with like this blue tarpaulin waterproof stuff. And these three sleepers, I think that if someone knew they were here, which I suppose they do now because I'm filming them, but even so, I think they'd be nicked, to be quite honest. There's actually three of them, you can see. Really, really good quality, probably over a hundred odd years old, I'd said. That's a guess, but, you know. And that's that. I mean, the roof's still strong enough to walk on if I could get onto it. And you can see this asbestos that we're trying to roof it with, I think. Must have nicked that from down our garden. And also, if Joe's watching this, yeah, den's still here, mate. You see, look, regular aim here. You see that in the V? It's been nailed on as well, I think. I remember making this actually. And they said, "Oh, making this den." And it's like, no way. I'm used to just getting it and chilling here. There used to be all vegetation around us and stuff. It used to be like, like sound buckets and stuff. So that's still wired on. I mean, this hasn't been touched really. You know, I think this will probably stay here for. Quite a while, really, if no one touches it, obviously. It's all cross braced, everything. It's all done properly. Like I say, little Ray Mears bush tucker effort. Okay, so that's that. That's the chilling spot, number two. There she is. I'll just walk back down here. And you can see how nice this is. This is just the railway embankment, basically. Well, it is. <laughs> The railway embankment, you can see it, well, I suppose you can't see now because it's covered up in uh, ivy and stuff, but this is this is where I am. Okay, I walk through here. If I look really closely, you should be able to see, like that for example, it's all granite and stuff. 